Brahma Gupta was an Indian mathematician and astronomer. He is the author of two early works on mathematics and astronomy, the Brahmasvata Siddhanta, a theoretical treatise, and the Kandakadyaka, a more practical text. According to his commentators, Brahma Gupta was a native of Bin Mal. Brahma Gupta was the first to give rules to compute with zero. The texts composed by Brahma Gupta were composed in elliptic verse in Sanskrit, as was common practice in Indian mathematics. As no proofs are given, it is not known how Brahma Gupta's results were derived. Life in Korea Brahma Gupta was born in 598 CE according to his own statement. He lived in Balamala during the reign of the Chapa dynasty rule of Yagrayamukha. He was the son of Jishnu Gupta. He was a Shaivite by religion. Bilamala, called Pai Lomolo by Shanzang, was the apparent capital of the Gurjarudza, the second largest kingdom of western India, comprising the southern Rajasthan and northern Gujarat in modern-day India. It was also a center of learning for mathematics and astronomy. Brahma Gupta became an astronomer of the Brahma Paksha school. He studied the five traditional Siddhanthas on Indian astronomy as well as the work of other astronomers including Iye Bhattarai, Latadeva, Pradyumna, Varahamahira, Simha, Sena, Vijayanandin and Vishnu Chandra. In the year 628, at an age of 30, he composed Brahmas for Tassadanta which is believed to be a revised version of the received Siddhanta of the Brahma Paksha school. Scholars state that he has incorporated a great deal of originality to his revision, adding a considerable amount of new material. The book consists of 24 chapters with 1,008 verses in the Ayamita. A good deal of it is astronomy, but it also contains key chapters on mathematics, including algebra, geometry, trigonometry and algorithmics, which are believed to contain new insights due to Brahma Gupta himself. Later, Brahma Gupta moved to Irajain, which was also a major center for astronomy. At the mature age of 67, he composed his next well-known work, Kandakajika, which is a practical manual of Indian astronomy in the Karana category meant to be used by students. Brahma Gupta lived beyond 665 CE. He is believed to have died in Ujjain. Controversy Brahma Gupta had a plethora of criticism directed towards the work of rival astronomers, and in his Brahmasvata Siddhanta is found one of the earliest attested schisms among Indian mathematicians. The division was primarily about the application of mathematics to the physical world, rather than about the mathematics itself. In Brahma Gupta's case, the disagreements stemmed largely from the choice of astronomical parameters and theories. Critiques of rival theories appear throughout the first ten astronomical chapters and the eleventh chapter is entirely devoted to criticism of these theories, although no criticisms appear in the twelfth and eighteenth chapters. Reception The historian of science George Sarton called him one of the greatest scientists of his race and the greatest of his time, Brahma Gupta's. Mathematical advances were carried on to further extent by Bhaskararai, a lineal descendant in Ujjain, who described Brahma Gupta as the Ganaka Chakra Chudamani. Prithudakasvaman wrote commentaries on both of his works, rendering difficult verses into simpler language and adding illustrations. Lala and Bhattopala in the 8th and 9th centuries wrote commentaries on the Kandakajika. Further commentaries continued to be written into the 12th century. A few decades after the death of Brahma Gupta, Sindh came under the Arab Caliphate in 712 CE. Expeditions were sent into Gurjaradza. The kingdom of Balamala seems to have been annihilated but Ujjain repulsed the attacks. The court of Caliph Al-Mansa received an embassy from Sindh, including an astrologer called Kanaka, who brought astronomical texts including those of Brahma Gupta. Brahma Gupta's texts were translated into Arabic by Muhammad al-Fazari, an astronomer in al-Mansur's court under the name Sindhan and Arakand. An immediate outcome was the spread of the decimal number system used in the texts. 
The mathematician Al-Khwarizmi wrote a text called Al-Jam Wal-Tafriq by Hissel Al-Hind, which was translated into Latin in the 13th century as Algorithma de Numero Indorum. Through these texts, the decimal number system and Brahmagupta's algorithms for arithmetic have spread throughout the world. Al-Khwarizmi also wrote his own version of Sindhand drawing on Al-Fazari's version and incorporating Ptolemaic elements. Indian astronomic material circulated widely for centuries, even passing into medieval Latin texts.